is me Sivo. in today's video i am going to be telling you guys how to track um cryptocurrency prices with using discord.py it is a uh, very simple to do and yeah so before this video starts make sure you subscribe because that will help amazingly and let's get into it shall we so before you do anything make sure you go to this site here i'll leave it down in the description make sure you set up a free account and now it's going to take you to the developers page and you're going to you're going to have a key here which you can um copy and which you will need so once you have got that we can um carry on so first up just set up the decent or the, the basically the standard um discord uh setup so you know all this and then um, we're just going to get to the coding part now so we're going to have to create um headers for this is how we do this just, just do headers put it into brackets and then we're just going to write x uh cmc uh pro you can look at this in the docs but i'll just tell you it now and then key and then you're just going to put in the api key you copy so if you had the api key you just paste it in here with quotations but i've got mine in another in another file so you guys can't see it so i'm just going to import api keys now once you have done that you're just going to do um do another section and just do a steps and then you're just going to do uh, application slash JSON. There we go. So it's the JSON. And um, that should be that. I forgot to put um, equals. There we go. Now we're just going to have to put in the URL. I'll tell you how to find this URL. So all right, to find this URL, you have to go to API documents. And then let it load. And then you've got to go down to the left here. And it should be, where's cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency. And then latest listing. And it's this link right here. Just copy this link and then um, paste it in here and that should be that for the URL now we're gonna have to use JSON to grab it all make sure you import requests by the way otherwise this won't work so do JSON equals requests dot get and then we're gonna get the URL and then we're also gonna get the headers so headers oh that's nice for headers headers and then we're going to put this into a json file so we can actually get information from it and that is literally oh yeah and then we've got to do c crypto and we're going to get the data and then we well basically just gets all the data if we quickly just print this real quick and we'll print crypto it'll come over all the data here if you want to organize this really quick just copy and paste everything and then go to um this site called json formatter and then um, just put in your code or the JSON and it like the uh, put it out neatly. So as you see, with the ID, the first ID goes highest to lowest. So the name is Bitcoin. The symbol is BTC, slug Bitcoin. And then if we scroll down, we should have the prices somewhere. There we go. Price is that and it's in USD. I, I think it only does it in USD, but yeah. But that's basically that if you want to if you wanna know the other IDs and that. See, this ID is Ethereum. And then you get the symbol and you can get the price for that. So anyways, let's get into how we actually uh, print these in a, in a command. All right, so guys, this is all the main stuff, really. So make sure you just knit all this together. Just keep that there. Now we're going to create a command. So at client uh, dot command. And then we're just going to do async. We'll do Bitcoin first. And then we do Bitcoin. Put this in a CTX. Now we're just going to use a for statement. So we're going to do 4x in the crypto. So this gets a whole like crypto list. And then we're going to do if x and the symbol, the keyword we found. So if the symbol is equal to, let's do, uh, what is it? BTC. So if the symbol is equal to BTC, then we're going to do coin is equal to f string. Actually, we don't need brackets. F string. And we're going to do x. I do X, uh, and then we're going to get the symbol, so symbol, and then we're going to do space here, and then we're going to do another curly brackets, and we're going to do X quote. We're going to get the quote, and then we're going to get the the USD, and then we're going to get the price. There we go. Now, once you have got that, we're just going to await it. Wait, CTX sends and um, coin. Just like that. And now to do the other one is pretty simple. Just copy and paste this. I'm going to do Ethereum now. So if we just do ETH, ETH uh, and then we just change this to e, oh, ETH. 
and that should literally be it that's all you have to do and then now if we run the bot what's what's wrong all right guys i'm not sure what i did i just retyped everything um i may have had like a grammar mistake or something but this code right here will work so just make sure you copy this exactly and um yeah <laughs> that was weird all right let's just uh run the bot and um we should hopefully all right now if we do what's the first one bitcoin so if we do bitcoin it's going to display out oh we got a price oh i did it all in capitals nice all right now if we do bitcoin it's going to say btc 21 blah 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 you can put dollars in front of it if you want but yeah that will give you the bitcoin price and if we do uh eth give you the ethereum price which is pretty cool I, it updates of course uh is it updated yet no it could take a bit of update I, I think it's like two minutes but yeah so guys i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe and bye bye